It was about 2 o'clock in the morning. I just remembered it was April. Taxes coming up in a couple of days. I guess I need to start working on that. I think my barber's coming over in the morning, but I ain't sure. I'm supposed to get a haircut pretty quick. Well, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I need to work on my taxes, but it's kind of been... Shut up, Rowdy! I kind of been wanting to work on that hovercraft, so we'll just have to see how it works out. Well, it's about 10.30 in the morning. I just woke up from a nap. I always like to start my day with a nap if I can. And uh, uh, my barber's coming over to cut my hair in a few minutes. That's when I got my barber pole on. So uh, I guess I'm going to get ready so I can get my hair cut. My name is Jerry Kellogg. I'm getting my hair cut in my barber chair at my house. Rebecca? And then we're going to work on the hovercraft. Hey, I saw some guy today he told me up in Branson, Missouri, they made a replica of the Noah's Ark. So I can go see if they really did it or not. I guess I could call and find out, but it's going to be a lot funner this way, so I'll let you know how it comes. Okay, we're in a store somewhere in Oklahoma. Going to Branson, see that boat. We're going to make it there tonight, but we'll probably make it there tomorrow night. I'll let you know. It's about 11 o'clock at night. We're about an hour from Tracy's mom and dad's house. We're going to go by there and stay there tonight on the way to the boat up there in uh, Missouri and uh, save us that $49. So I'll let you know how that works out. Well, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. My bedroom, Miss Tracy's bedroom, is right next to my dad-in-law's bedroom, so I'll probably get plenty of sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're halfway to Branson, up at Tracy's mom and dad's house. Stopped to visit a little bit, but ain't going to need all of us sitting around the house in there. It's 79 degrees. I'm thinking ride that motorcycle. <laughs> Okay, I just got the motorcycle loaded up, so we're fixing to head to Missouri about through visiting with the in-laws. About one day is all, about one day is all they can take of me, so I'll let you know where we come out tonight. We should make branch in Missouri so we can see that boat first thing in the morning, but... I don't know if you can read that sign, it may be too dark, but that says Missouri, the show me state. So show me the ark. I don't know how far we are, but we must be getting closer. I'll let you know. Well, it's about 1 o'clock in the morning, and we're in the freaking middle of nowhere. Branson is on the way to nowhere. <laughs> I don't know exactly how far it is, but we're still trying to get there. We're going to see that boat tomorrow somehow or another. I'll let you know. Well, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. We finally made it here. We're in Branson. It's not like I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be more like Las Vegas, everything in a single row kind of deal. But this shit's spread out. You can't just walk from place to place. You need a vehicle. But we'll check it out tomorrow and let you know. Okay, we're at the motel looking at our stuff to do tomorrow. They got a lot of coupons here. I'll say one thing about Branson. If you're in the music industry and you're playing Branson, you better pay for a sell sign on the tour bus because it's probably your last stop. Well, it's about 3.30 in the morning here in Branson. I'm going to try to get some sleep. i got a cousin out in California who wants to see some video of that hovercraft. Justin or Miles, I know one of y'all got some of that video, so somebody put that on Facebook so she can see it for me. Okay. It's Wednesday, about 12.30, we're getting kind of a late start. I'm unloading this motorcycle so we can go out and explore this town. I think we start serving stuff around here about 4.30, so we <laughs> kind of got to hurry up. But we're fixing to find that boat somehow. I'll let you know. Well, it's 1 o'clock. We ain't left the motel yet, but we're fixing to get on this bike and explore the town. Missouri is a helmet state, so my parents and Miss Tracy's parents will be glad to know we will be wearing our helmets today. But we'll find something interesting and we'll show you what it is. Remember this, no matter what you see, it always looks better from a motorcycle. Here we go. Well, we ain't found the ark yet, but we must be getting close, because I think that's the damn Titanic right there, so we got to be around here somewhere. We've been going to the store right here. I think I saw Bo and Luke go in there, so... 
We're going to go in there and see if we can't find them. I'll let you know. Well, we found a little place down here by the river to have a picnic. So we had a little time to kill. So when Miss America talks about peace on earth and a redneck boy from Texas talks about a little peace on earth, we ain't talking about the same thing. I ain't going to let you know how it comes out either. Okay, here we are in Branson. We found the boat. It sits inside that building right there. They want me to pay $125 to go in there and see it. They say that I can't take pictures of it. But for $125, that's bullshit. I'm going to take some pictures of it. I'll show them to you when I get out. Okay, hey, we're coming out from where the boat was. It's in there all right, but it's really just a half a boat. It's about the size of a football stadium, just like in high school football, about how big a thing is. But it's kind of cut in half so you can see both sides of it. But I'll tell you more about it later. Copper. Okay, we scoped out the whole town. Here's the deal. Branson is kind of for grandparents where they can bring their grandchildren because it goes from like tributes to Marty Robbins to bus cars and putt putt. But it's a beautiful place. It's hard to get to, but we had a lot of fun. So I'll tell you. But I will say one thing for Branson. If you're about 40 years old and you feel kind of old, come here and it'll make you feel young again. Even a 50-year-old could find a cougar here. Of course, she'd be about 80, but there's plenty of 80-year-old women up here. But we had a good time. But well, I was at the RV park earlier today, and one of my motor home boys was telling me about in Pennsylvania they make chocolate bars as big as a cake pan. Oh, hell no. I didn't say we was going. You like chocolate anyway. Anyway, I I'll let you know. I'm watching this blood off the side of my truck. 